Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial we will see what are the user defined functions in SQL Server. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is that we will see like what are the UDF in SQL Server and then we will also see how many types of user defined functions we have in SQL Server. So in SQL Server if function is like a mini program or a set of instructions that you can reuse whenever you need it. You give it some input parameters and then it does something with the parameter like it performs some calculations or manipulations with the data etc and then it gives back you the result. So there are two type of user defined functions in SQL Server. The first one is the scalar functions. So a scalar function in SQL Server always returns a single value. Okay. Some of the example of the scalar functions can be like len function. So if you pass some value to the len function, it gives you the length of the string or the other example of the scalar function can be ltrim function, rtrim function, substring function because all those kind of functions or the get date function, all those functions return a single value. So the scalar function always return a single value. And the syntax to write the scalar function is as below. So we write like create function, then function name and then we can pass the parameters like parameter 1 and its data type then parameter 2 its data type parameter 3 and data type and so on and then returns and then we need to specify the data type like which return data type it will return like whether it will return an integer value or it will return a date value or a varchar value and then we can write as begin and then we can inside the function body we can actually write the code like what we exactly want to do with the function for example a function can be used to like select data from a table according to some input parameter or according to the input parameters it can perform some manipulations like data manipulations or maybe some calculations on the data okay and then finally it can return the data type like which data type you want to return so this is how the scalar function can be created and we will see that in a bit like how to create the scalar function. Now the second type of functions are the table valued functions. So a table valued function always return a table. So the syntax to create the table valued function is that create function and then the schema name, function name and then you can provide the parameters. Okay, parameter name and the data type and it always returns a table. Returns table as return and then you can write the select statement that will select the table from the SQL Server database. So I think without wasting further time, let's jump to the demo. So I have a SQL database, okay, and in the SQL database, I got a table, email table. So I will take the example of this one, and uh, I can show you the data, like what kind of data it contains. So right now it contains like person's first name, last name, email, gender, okay. So first of all, uh, we will create a uh, a scalar function and the scalar function can actually return a single value for a particular input parameter so either you can pass multiple input parameter or you can pass a single input parameter okay so um, suppose what we can do we have like person's first name and last name so what we can do either we can pass the input parameter as first name and last name and then it can return us the full name which will be a combination of first name plus last name right or we can pass the id as an input parameter and for that particular id it can actually return us the full name and full name will be a combination of the first name plus last name okay so let's see like how we can actually uh, pass the id as an input parameter and according to the id for any record it can actually return you the full name from the table okay so let's create the user defined function for that so we can write create function okay and then the function name so i can write like fn underscore get full name okay and then you need to provide the input parameter so for example i can declare a variable id of type integer okay and then we can write returns and the data type so it will return the data type is varchar 100 because the full name can be of varchar 100 after that we can write as then begin and the end now between the begin and end we need to write the code okay so it will return the full name okay so we need to first declare the a variable like 
declare at the rate full name of type varchar 100 okay and now uh, we can assign the data like select at the rate full name so we can assign the data to the full name and how the data will be assigned we will select the first name okay plus and then we will put a space in between the first name and then the last name okay and from table name table name is email here okay so we will select the first name plus last name from email table where id equal to at the rate id at the rate id is the input parameter okay so this is how this value id will be passed as an input parameter and it will get the first name and the last name yeah so this is how the first name and last name it will be combined and will be assigned to the full name okay and now in the end we can actually return the value of the full name so we can write return at the rate full name okay so this is how the function will be created so i can actually select this particular code and i can click on execute so the command completed successfully and it should have created a function in the database okay so if you want to see the function so you can go to the programmability then the functions scalar values functions and then you can see the function name here fn underscore get full name okay and now if you want to uh, execute the function then how you can execute it so we selected the data from this particular table and now we want to execute this particular function so like how we can call this particular function we can write select and then control shift r so that it can refresh the cache we can write dbo dot fn underscore get full name okay and then in the bracket we can pass the integer value like for example i can pass a value one okay so that it can get the data for the first id so if i execute this one then you can see that it return the full name okay so let me execute both the queries together so for example if i pass the value as 5 then it should get the full name for the fifth record like randy dupio okay so this is how you know this is getting executed so this is one of the way like how you can execute it the another way like if you want to execute it for all the records so you after the star you can you know call this particular functions so i can copy this one paste it here now instead of the hard coded value of 5 you can pass the column name as id okay and then i can call it as full name okay so i can write full name and then if i execute this one then this function will be called for every row in this particular table you know so this value this new column this is coming from the function fn underscore get full name so this is the user defined function which returns a single value okay for a particular input parameter so this was the scalar function now there is a second type of function which is called as table valued function and the table valued function actually returns the table so how we can create the table valued function so for creating the table valued function we can write create function okay and then the function name so we can call it as fn underscore get data okay so now what i want to do if we look at the email table so the email table contains the data for different gender like for male female etc okay so what i want to do if i pass a gender value like male then it should return the data all data it should return for for the males and if i pass a value as female then it should return the data for all the females okay so that's what i want to do so so we can create the function accordingly create function fn underscore get data so now we can create a gender parameter so i can call it as gender and the data type can be varchar 100 okay and then returns table because it will return a table as return okay and then we can put this particular braces and here we can write the actual query like i can write the query select star from email okay where so my table name is email yeah that's fine select star from email where uh, gender equal to at the rate gender okay because this 
value this parameter this will be dynamic and this will be passed as an input parameter so this is the code to create a function which will return the table so i can actually select this particular code and i can click on execute so the function fn underscore get data has been created and now if you look at the table valued function so you can find a function here fn underscore get data and now how you can actually call this particular function so you can write select a star from dbo dot fn underscore get data okay and then as an input parameter you can pass the value for example if i pass the value as female then it should return the data for all the females so here you can see that the data is for all the females and same way if you want to get the data for all the male so you can pass the input parameter as male and you can execute the query so this particular function now returning a table and with all the gender values as male okay so this is how you know you can create a table valued function which returns a table and this is how you can create a scalar function which returns a single value okay so you can write a lot of code this is the very basic function so that you can you know understand it properly maybe in next videos i can try to make a more complex function okay for a real life problem so that you can see like you can write a lot of code inside the function as well okay but there are some limitations between the function and the store procedure and maybe i can create a video like what are the differences between a function and the store procedure yeah so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much